When I was a kid, I loved reading newspapers. In fact, I still do. There's nothing quite like the feeling of sitting down with a cup of coffee and a fresh newspaper or a glass of milk and a couple slices of jelly toast. My love affair actually began, naturally, with the comic section. But soon enough, I was reading other parts too. Politics, world news, lifestyle, opinions, editorials, and of course, sports. I was taking it all in, even the parts I didn't quite understand. And when I was a young comedian working on the road, the first thing that I would do when I got to a new town was take a look at their alternative paper to see if I could find something local to talk about right at the top of the set. And they never let me down. Now all this came to mind for me when I found out the Washington City paper is going digital and will no longer be offering print editions. By the way, the final copy hits the stands on May 5th. Now this isn't entirely unexpected. The paper had already been forced to cut back from weekly editions to monthly in 2020 thanks to the COVID recession, but it appears that they were never able to gain back the financial ground they lost. The same thing is happening to local papers all around the country, and it's a real shame. Usually it's the local rags that really address the needs of the communities they serve, that dig into the nitty gritty of the real issues affecting the locals, something the Washington City paper has done for the past four decades. Now, COVID might have been the final push, but the true culprit here is the internet, with the rise of the web meant the loss of advertising revenue, a hit that the whole industry is taking. Now, I realize that I'm saying this in front of a camera, but still, I don't care for this change. There's something to be said for slowing down and taking in the work that's done by writers photographers and editors living within the communities they're reporting on, that they have a real connection to, and that's what we're losing. Yes, they're, they're still gonna be reporting, and yes, the local stories are still going to be told, but any tactile connection to them may be lost. And that's very sad to me, because it means that there's a kid out there who won't have a chance to fall in love with newspapers the way that I once did. But I do want to say best of luck to those folks still remaining at Washington City Paper. And I want you to know that your efforts are still needed and still valued. That's it for Open Mic. We'll be back the same time tomorrow. That is 7 p.m. You guys be good. Let's go Nats.